This is Ian with Build Brothers. Gonna go ahead and do my digital inspection here at 13861 Otis Place in Poway. Gonna start here at the front of the home. And first thing I notice here is these bushes. I would prefer that these bushes be trimmed back before we start on the roofing project, as well as the potentially these, what are these, cypress trees in front. And then the larger tree in back is definitely overhanging. We'll see more of that when we jump up on the roof. Let's go ahead and work quickly around the back of this house. There is gonna be some fairly substantial wood repair that needs to take place. One thing I wanted to point out is the, the possibility of adding fascia on these rafter tails where, it never, the, where the builder never put it. Totally unnecessary, but uh, majority of the house has fascia. Uh, they probably just skipped these small sections to save a few bucks. We can see that uh, big chunk of material at the edge of the roof there. So we know that there are three layers of roof on the majority of this house. Looks like it was the roof was torn off above the garage because I don't see that same big thick layer of roofing material. Got a gable end vent that typically allows the cool air into the attic. We got this uh, aluminum patio cover that looks to be in really good shape. No issues that we have to address there. Um, and it looks like the fascia should be replaced all the way across the back of the house. And so typically we're just gonna replace the fascia that needs to be replaced. And looking at this, this all needs to be replaced on the back. Let's go ahead and jump up on the roof. Take a look at what is going on up there. We got drip edge, we got a three tab asphalt shingle, very, very badly worn. Looks to be you know, somewhere tw maybe 25 or 30 years old. The plywood is um, delaminating and is very soft in some places, missing shingles. Um, the satellite dish, uh, I would uh, recommend that we call the cable direct TV and have them relocate that satellite uh, to, the, to the rafter tail. Um, we don't want them installing it on our new roof that way. So uh, valley metal, we're not gonna reuse valley metal. Um, uh, we prefer the look of, uh, of California valleys and uh, the waterproofing is, is better um, on the method that we like to use. So point out on the next door neighbor's roof, that is a premium roof. It's got these low profile O'Hagan vents used to allow cool air into the attic space. And then it has something across the ridge that you can't really see called the ridge vent that allows the hot air out. That is an excellent uh, ventilation method to get the hot air out of our attic spaces. We see nails popping through the roofing material all over this roof. Um, each one of those is a potential leak. Looks like we've had a little repair right here. Uh, almost looks like those shingles are newer than the rest. The back of the house is, always, the, is south facing. South facing is always going to have the most amount of damage. And so yeah, these, uh, these shingles are definitely um, gone. Um, we're going to get rid of the whirly birds and, um, and uh, either replace with a ridge vent or just the O'Hagans, depending on what we want to do. There will be a lot of plywood repair. Um, the three layers of old roofing material actually, you know, uh, uh, provides a little bit of tinsel strength uh, for the plywood. And so when we rip all three of these layers of roofing material off, this plywood actually gets even more flimsy. And uh, we've seen a lot of 3 8 plywood used in Poway. So chances are that's what it is. We'll just have to be careful so we don't have to resheet the whole thing. But a little quick view of that. And the tree that should be trimmed back, we can whack a few branches off and throw them in the backyard if you prefer, um, other than having a tree trimmer come in. Okay, that's it for the roof.